I'm Jared Friedman with Redwood Financial Planning, and today I'm going to try to help you make better decisions when the world is uncertain. For this video, I'm turning to the U.S. Navy SEALs for lessons on how to cope with stress and uncertainty and still accomplish your goals. Stick around. We're dealing with more uncertainty than most of us in the USA have ever faced before. And as the months drag on, the stress and uncertainty are taking a toll. Fortunately, we've got somewhere to turn for help. The Navy SEALs undergo some of the most stressful training in the world, and they can teach us all a thing or two about thriving in challenging situations. Lesson one, embrace the suck or embrace any circumstance. Life will always throw us curveballs. And sometimes more than one at a time. We can't control or avoid them, but we can switch our attitude to one of acceptance and mental readiness for the challenges ahead. Lesson number two, when you're feeling overwhelmed, move the goalposts. Overwhelm is a sign that you're trying to do too much. But if you break decisions into challenges that are very small and manageable, victories can give you a feeling of accomplishment and shift your brain out of analysis paralysis. Lesson number three, when you're stuck in the mud, start singing. It's another way of saying when you feel powerless or negative, take a small action to shift into a positive mindset and exert some control. For example, we can't control the stock market, but we can make a financial plan. We can't control the coronavirus, but we can mitigate our own risk of infection. We can't predict the economy, but we can triple check our backup plans. As a financial planner, I'm a student of psychology and human behavior as much as I am of the economy and finance. Now, after years of working with clients, I've discovered that mindset and behavior have a greater impact on financial success than the markets themselves. I love learning new ways to make better decisions under stress and uncertainty. Do you have any that you've learned and would like to share? Feel free to shoot me an email. Thank you. And if you have a question about what I've discussed, or just like to speak personally about what's going on in your life, please send me a message. I will respond. Thank you. Have a great day and be safe.